Welcome to the Africa Climate Summit. This is the largest gathering in the continent's history on climate change. It's a historic event. You're here representing a bank. Tell us why NCBA have decided to participate in the Africa Climate Summit. Thank you, Yvonne. And it's a pleasure to be here. So NCBA in its uh, sustainability commitment, one of our key pillars is that we have to take care of our environment. Uh, we launched our sustainability commitment on 25th of uh, August. And uh, for that reason, we, we actually sponsored of Africa uh, Climate Summit. And as responsible citizens of this uh, world or the, of this country, it is imperative on us to ensure that we promote anything towards sustainability of the environment. Great. Tell us a bit about um, NCBA's um, specific uh, initiatives or uh, programs or products or projects that are being worked on or are going to be worked on um, as part of your response uh, to the climate crisis. Okay, thank you. Uh, so one of our uh, sustainability commitments is that uh, we've committed to mobilize and steer around 30 billion Kenya shillings by 2030 towards uh, sustainable finance, climate finance. Uh, more specific, um, we have gone ahead and set aside 2 billion shillings uh, in terms of uh, funded uh, capital towards financing of electric vehicles. We are the first bank in the country today to launch uh, uh, charging stations for uh, electric vehicle mobility in the country. And we have them uh, one at our head office at NCBA Center in Upper Hill and one of, at one of our key offices at NCBA uh, House in Upper Hill. Great. Um, that's, that's great. Um, how do we mitigate the impact of climate-related financial risk on performance? I mean, I guess the bank, I know the bank has to perform. How do you mitigate any risk related to uh, climate-related financial risks? So first of all, is being purposeful when uh, evaluating our customers' uh, uh, finan uh, financing or lending requirements. Uh, one of the commitments we've given is that we, we will transition our customers into uh, uh, environmental friendly lending, any kind of investment, financing, decisions that you make have to be environmentally uh, impactful in a positive way, in the sense that uh, they ha it has to be geared towards reducing carbon emission. Uh, when it comes to now the electric vehicle or EV market, um, NCBA is a market leader in financing of uh, mobility. We have a market share of more than 30%. And for a very long time, we've been supporting uh, a lot of customers, uh, mainly SMEs, towards acquisition of uh, mobility, most of which have been uh, uh, in internal combustion engine vehicles. Therefore, the impact that we, as a, as a, as a commercial bank, have in this market is a, is a very high impact in terms of carbon emission. Uh, if you, if you look at uh, more developed countries, it's very clear that 50% uh, of the carbon emission comes from motor, motor vehicles. And uh, bearing that in mind and taking cognizance of the fact that uh, some of the lending activities that we make today are geared towards um, emission of carbon. Going forward, what we are doing is that we want to be at the forefront of supporting and deliberately pursuing uh, activities that are geared towards reducing that carbon emission. That's the reason why we came up with a 2 billion shilling uh, fund towards uh, EV mobility. In addition to that, we are incentivizing customers. Uh, how are we incentivizing them? Any lending that is uh, geared towards uh, acquisition of uh, electric mobility, we are uh, the, the, the financing cost comes at a much more a highly discounted uh, cost. Traditional lending, wherever it will be, because we've seen a lot of changes in the lending rates, uh, funding of uh, electric mobility will be at around 300 basis points below the conventional lending. That is to spur uh, uptake of electric mobility and to also incentivize customers to take that as an option that will in itself reduce carbon emission. Great. And overall, um, 
Lennox, what do you see as the role of the banking sector to address the very harsh impact of climate change? Um, I know you're aware of the enormous drought that is happening in the region. We see flooding, we see um, much higher temperatures, rising sea levels. Overall, what do you think the role of the banking sector is? How critical is it that the banking sector plays a role? You no, know, it is critical in the sense that uh, most of the economic activities that happen in the economy are largely driven by commercial banks because most of the entrepreneurs out there will, in one way or another, come in and borrow money from commercial banks. So the role of uh, commercial banks is to ensure that uh, going forward, the funding that goes out to the private sector is geared towards environmental friendly activities or activities that will be geared towards reducing carbon emission. And if you look at uh, the trends uh, within the global sphere, um, e-mobility in, in 2019, about 2.3 million uh, vehicles were sold uh, globally, that is electric vehicles. In 2025, that is estimated to grow uh, to 10 million. And by 2030, that will be around 23 million. So what it means is that there is increased uh, appetite or uh, uh, interest by consumers in, uh, in uh, accessing uh, electric mobility, for example. And for that reason, a lot of which will be funded by commercial banks. So as commercial banks, our responsibility is to ensure that uh, our resources are geared towards environmental friendly activities. Uh, besides even electric mobility, there's a lot of conversation around um, solar PV financing. A lot of uh, manufacturing entities, commercial entities are now solarizing uh, their businesses in a bid to reduce reliance on uh, what we typically call thermal energy. And uh, commercial banks' responsibility is to ensure that they purposefully support these entities towards accessing that and affordably, because that is what will, will help us uh, reduce the carbon footprint that we currently have. Excellent. Thank you very much. Is there anything you'd like to add? Any final thought? Any message that you have for the audience today? Yes, uh, I think uh, as far as NCBA is concerned, we are fully focused on supporting the climate change cause. Uh, reducing uh, in, in our lending, our focus is to ensure that anything, anything to do with what, where we invest our money in, where we lend our money into, uh, is all geared towards specifically ways in which carbon emission is going to be reduced. Uh, climate change is a reality and it's here with us. Uh, what started as uh, warming waters in Peru a couple of years back where fishermen used to notice that uh, 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 across uh, the, 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 the sea, they are seeing warming waters is now a reality in terms of how it impacts um, uh, the, the, the environment. Today, El Nino is a three to five year phenomenon. In 2019, I remember there was a big, I mean, the, the worst El Nino in Kenya in 40 years out of which uh, there was a decline in production of cereals by 30%, a decline in production of maize by 50%. What that meant is that our food security was at risk. And uh, if such phenomenon continue um, uh, appearing uh, every three to five years, guess what that might do? We might end up finding ourselves in a, in a crisis acro across the globe. It's not a Kenya thing, it's actually a global thing. And it's not also an Africa thing, it's a global thing. And for that reason, what we are encouraging is for other commercial banks within the banking space to take heed of uh, the um, action that NCB has taken up, join us in the cause towards mobilizing and steering um, the kind of resources that uh, we have decided to, to mobilize. Most likely, if all the commercial banks in Kenya, for example, are uh, came together, we might end up even, instead of uh, mobilizing 30 billion, which is what NCBA is looking at mobilizing, it could even be 300 billion. And everything geared towards uh, ensuring that uh, we uh, taper down or we reduce the impact of uh, global, uh, global warming uh, or and carbon emission. And with that, uh, I think the kind of uh, risks that you are finding ourselves into, things like food insecurity, environmental degradation, pollution, noise levels, etc will collectively be able to manage that. And we'll have uh, a country that will be sustainable for the future generation. 
Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Thank you very much for yes. your time and thank you for all that NCBA is doing. It's yes. been a pleasure. I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you.